Welcome back to Domicom channel. We're going through a preview of Wolf Lair's Army Builder 3.2 software. And from my first inspection, I got to tell you guys that there's a lot of nice little touches that they've done to this update. The first thing, which you probably won't be able to see as well as I do because the quality of video that we can post on YouTube really isn't designed for this, but everything about the UI just looks cleaner. It's got a very, very nice polish now to the buttons. Uh, it's just a very clean interface. As you log into the system, the first thing it does is actually identify the game systems that you have installed and tells you whether or not they're up to date. This completely avoids the headache of creating a list only to find out that your particular update in this corner up here was needed to make sure that your list was still valid. So let's go ahead and enter into Warhammer 40,000. And there's a lot of similar features. The first thing you're gonna see is that you're gonna create a new roster. Instead of having kind of a, a bit of a clunky menu up front, you choose your army list. So we're just gonna pick Space Marines. We then click on the left-hand side and it identifies predefined point values that are typical for games or for tournament sizes but it still gives you the option to do unlimited size or restrict to a certain point limit then the next thing you're going to do is click down here to choose the rules and this does a really good job of actually identifying uh, for instance in this if I was just to click create I'd see that I was creating a Blood Angels Norma mission core list but let's go ahead and, and switch it over this is a huge change and you'll see this throughout the 3.2 software everything now is in tree views which allows you to expand and collapse every single option which might seem a little daunting to to new users but for someone uh, once you start to use the software just a little bit you'll realize the power of being able to look at every single option all at once as opposed to clicking on different tabs and going back and forth and saying oh did I click on that I can't remember well now you can just expand the entire tree and see all the rules all at once. And you still have the option again to, to close the tree if you just want to look at the chapter selection. So let's go ahead and create a, a codex chapter. You'll notice that it changes in the, co in, the, in the rules section and we'll click on create. Now the first thing you're going to notice is that across the top where we used to only have HQ Elite, Troop, Fast, and Heavy, they added a new tab called All Units, which is nice because again, let's say you're working on an army list and you have 150 points list left. Instead of clicking through the various tabs, you have one place that you can reference and go, okay, I got 150 points, how am I gonna spend it? It still gives you the option of doing the breakdown of choosing just your HQ choices or any of the other force organization type choices. To the right, they updated the composition summary so that instead of it just being the number and it being either blue meaning good or red meaning bad, it tells you, depending on the options that you choose, exactly how much of each thing you must have. So for instance, in HQ, you must have one or two. Elite, you can have anything three or less, two to six troops, etc. So let's go ahead and add a uh, Space Marine Captain. And now let's take a look at the bottom portion of the screen. By selecting here, you're going to notice that there's a summary that's also right underneath the composition summary. And by double clicking, it moves it into your army list. This is very similar metaphor to the 3.1 version of the software. And again, you see that tree view for, for the option. The Space Marine Captain is highlighted. The options that you have for him are placed in the tree view, which again, you can collapse and expand. but it allows you to see all the options that you have at this particular level all at once. I can then switch down to here and see all the war gear for this this guy. Um, and it, it just it's just a very, very clean interface. I know I'm going to keep saying this repeatedly, but I got to say major kudos to the guys at Wolf Flare for coming up with this. So let's go ahead and add two tactical squads. And like before, uh, the exclamation point goes away and we see on the bottom that all the validation rules are satisfied um, it still does tabulation of points so we're still at at th for this particular list we're at 280 of 1850 points which is what we defined at any point in time you can go under roster and change the roster size so no don't worry that when you're creating a list that you don't have options to um, expand or or decrease the number of points for your end army size 
It also gives you the option to save it as a mobile roster. Now, I don't have a Windows um, compatible device or an iPhone. My understanding is that the mobile roster is designed specifically for that, but I do have a relatively new phone and it can read PDFs. So now I can save my army list at 1500 points, 1750 or 2000, put it on my cell phone, and now I can take it with me to the store and, and have the flexibility of, of referencing it from my cell phone. Uh, the other thing too is that PDF is it can be useful for all kinds of stuff. You guys are familiar with PDFs. I'm not gonna go into that. Um, the next thing you're going to notice is that one of the new options is save model list. And I think this has to be the coolest feature, but it's not fully implemented. Remember guys, I'm getting this software and we're showing it to you before it's made available to the public. So army builders really two parts. One is the core system and that's the system that's been upgraded from 3.1 to 3.2. There's another portion, which is the groups that create the various army files. So those files, because 3.2 doesn't exist yet as a GA release, have not been updated to take full advantage of the model list. And I'll kind of explain how that works. So let's go ahead and save a model list based on what we currently have in our, in our army roster. And you're gonna notice that it gives you the option of saving as plain text as bulletin bo board code. So you can just drop it into forms and whatnot. You can also save it as HTML if you're creating a web page and you want to, you know, have a nice format to your army list. So looking at the plain text, it tells you what the army size max points was. And this is just because I haven't named it up here, it would change the name at this portion. But here's the real power. I see that I need one, one commander, two sergeants, eight tactical squad members, with bolters. So I know now when I create an army list and I'm ready to go to the store, what do I need to pack to make my army list show up on the tabletop? This tells me what I need to bring. Now, what was why was I saying that the the, the list need to be update updated the the files that you download for the various game systems because it's not it, the functionality is available in 3.2 but not in the game files. So if we were to change the tactical squad and say that let's see the sergeant uh, actually with the tactical squad we need to increase the size to 10 now we have options to add flamer and heavy bolter and you're gonna see that in the model list it doesn't quite display the information correctly when the files get updated for the various game systems that's when you're gonna see it populate correctly and, and you'll see okay I need it'll tabulate these together like they did the sergeant for the two squads and it'll be I need 11 tactical squad members with bolters and it'll actually break out I need one with a heavy bolter and I need one with a flamer so again I kinda want to make you guys aware the functionality is encased in the 3.2 software but the files that make up the various game systems have to be updated to accommodate the new functionality and 3.2 is not GA yet so just keep that in mind all right, um, we pretty much have gone through almost everything I wanted to talk about with the with the new system. Uh, again, PDF outputs, model lists, being able to save to a you know a file that makes it easy for Windows mobile devices or iPhones. Uh, going to uh, the various tree views so that you can find information faster and see it all at a glance, and still give you the option of. Uh, compressing a tree list so that you're only looking at a particular section. All these little features uh, will, again, speed up your army creation so that you can get out of just creating a list and onto the tabletop and into a game. That's the uh, 3.2 Army Builder by Wolflayer Preview. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Take care.